Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to prove that the limit as x approaches zero from the right of the square root of x times e to the sine of pi over x is equal to zero. So let's start with the sine of pi over x. We know sine taking on any value is going to be less than or equal to one and greater than or equal to negative one. Why? Well, because that's just what the sine function is. We know it oscillates in a general shape between the values of negative one and one and negative one and one over and over again. Therefore, we can say it's between these two values. Therefore, we can say that e to the sine of pi over x is less than or equal to e to the one and greater than or equal to e to the negative one. Right, we have this inequality and we can raise everything to the e. Therefore, we are getting one step closer to this function and we just have to multiply by the square root of x. So the square root of x times e to the negative one is less than or equal to the square root of x times e to the sine of pi over x is less than or equal to the square root of x times e to the one, which is just e. So therefore, this function is in between these two functions. Therefore, we're looking for the limit as x approaches zero from the right of, let's take this function, square root of x, and then e to the negative one. Anything to the negative one is just one over that thing. So this is one over e. So the square root of x over e, we can just plug in zero from the right means we don't have to worry about taking the square root of a negative number. So we can't just plug in zero. So this is the square root of zero over e, which is zero over e, which is zero. And same thing over here, square root of x times e is equal to the square root of zero times e is equal to zero times e is equal to zero. And therefore, since the limit as x approaches zero from the right of these two functions is equal to zero, and our third function is with in them for all values of x, we can say that the limit as x approaches zero of our function is equal to the limit of these two functions, it's equal to zero. And this is by the squeeze theorem.